If you go through the, the mares that are being bred, obviously maidens, um, um, you have to be very careful of how they react. Uh, um, and various things can be can be used, but um, to to sort of settle things down. But at the end of the day, most of the time their reaction will be um, will be scaredness, will be uh, afraid of hello, what's going on here. A mare that's recently foaled, if she's been served on the foal heat, so so quite you know ten odd days, seven to ten days after after foaling, they can be quite protective of their foal naturally. Um, but as I say, having experienced staff there and knowing what you're dealing with, knowing what mare you've got there, uh, you, you prepare yourself for it and uh, and I just, you know, just try and think, keep things as calm as possible. If you're calm then the stallion will be calm and and, and, and it'll be a lot easier for the mare. Well probably 30% of the mares that we breed um, will be walk-ons. Uh, so obviously we we have very high expectation that 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 the let's say the vet work and the recording and the and, and especially the teasing has been done prior prior to them coming onto the farm. They need to be absolutely absolutely spot on and and um, once again they need to ex apply their experience on the farm and, and the experience of their of their vet and uh, hopefully that's a that's a vet that that, that specialises in uh, specialises in reproductive work um, that has seen the mare beforehand and. They'll get in touch with me a couple of days beforehand and warn me that a mare's you know, not going to be far away and then maybe the day of service or she's to be served in the next 24 hours and we'll give them a time slot. Uh, but, but, but most importantly, um, um, as I say, they use their experience in identifying whether the mare has a problem, warning us of any sort of behavioural um, problems. But the main thing is, is and I'm a, just a big, big believer, that, that, the, that the teaser um, is used significantly uh, through that whole process of identification of of, of estrus and heat um, um, prior to heat, uh, sorry, prior to service, and and then even post because it uh, because the mare goes through a process and um, and uh, that, that that teaser is a, is a natural thing. And at the end of the day, we all use we all use uh, vets with 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 a lot of experience. We all use ultrasound scan. We use different um, sort of hormones and things that that help this process. But at the end of the day. The, the teaser knows best, you know, he, he, is, he is with those mares, he, he identifies um, when they're coming into heat um, and, uh, and, and certainly, like in the old days, um, you know, I've always been taught if the, if the, if the, if the mare's following the teaser out of the paddock or, or standing there without a, basically without a head collar, without a twitch on, she's ready to go to the breeding shed and that's how they should be when they come to us.